More girls hoops, a track showdown between Whitmer and Notre Dame. First quarter, Jada Shope underneath, powers her way to the hoop for the score. The Panthers in front by three. Second quarter, Dakota Smith in transition, right down the middle of the lane, gets the floater to fall. It's 13-19 Notre Dame. And I said we're gonna see a few buzzer beaters, and here's another one. Danny, Denny Lawrence from half court, the heave, and Beats the buzzer. The Panthers take a one point lead into the locker room. In the fourth, Shope wide open on the block, goes high off the glass for two. Whitmer in front, 31 28. But here come the Eagles closing out the fourth quarter. Smith, nice move in the paint, 44 36. Notre Dame, Eagles, and Panthers split the regular season. I mean, in the beginning, it was kind of slow. We were good on defense, but offensively, we were a little rough. Then we picked it up, and then defensively, we stayed on task what we had to do. And offensively, we picked it up, and that's what it got us to win. Just staying confident and sticking to the game plan and knowing what we need to do to win, and then staying focused the entire game, play a full game. Mason Lowry and John Hobbs have more from Notre Dame. Well, you know, I feel battered and bruised after watching that for 32 minutes. That was one of the most physical, intense games I've seen all year. Listen, Coach Leon Kennard and Coach Travis are both very physical type coaches. It was going to be a barn burner tonight. And the physicality and everything we saw, Mason, I would have expected no different. The only thing we missed was a last second buzzer <laughs> in the fourth quarter. That's true, although it did <laughs> come down to the fourth quarter. Dakota Smith was really good, as she always is, for Notre Dame. But I want to highlight a couple of other players that maybe don't get as much publicity. Nina Sims averages nine points a game, scoreless going into the fourth, and came up with big bucket after big bucket for the Eagles. And Bella Calcamugio coming off the bench, didn't play until the fourth quarter. We noticed her. She was big, especially on defense. Listen, those two young players realize this is where our team needs us to carry them. And they came in unselfish, ready to go. This is what coaches expect, especially Mason, when you're getting ready for tournament time and the draw is made, you got to know those players will step up for you in crunch time, in case there's foul trouble, in case there's injuries, you got to have that happen. If both Notre Dame and Whitmer can play defense the way they did tonight, they can make some noise. As physical as they were, there were no quit in them on any end, uh, any side of the ball. If they can do that come tournament time, especially when you play the team and maybe they beat you earlier, mm -hmm. tournament becomes a whole different animal. It's a whole different event. So now when you see what they were able to do tonight, some teams better be watching some film or it's going to be some upsets happening with these two teams playing the way they played each other tonight. And who better to get you ready when Notre Dame brings that type of intensity, when Whitmer brings that type of intensity and you're getting ready for the tournament, that's what you want. You don't want to end of the season blow out, beat somebody by 40. You want that type of intensity to help you get ready for the next, for, for that run down to Columbus. Preach, my friend. The sermon <laughs> is complete from Mr. Hobbs.